guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to this video which is a full room tour of the guinea pigs room. So we are going to go all around the room, look at all of the guinea pig stuff and all of their storage. From my last couple of vlogs I think it's something you guys might be interested in and along the way you might pick up some tips and tricks for your own storage ideas for your guinea pigs and your own pet rooms. So without further ado let's get some better lighting in here and start off with an overview of the room. So as you can see the main things in the room are the guinea pig cage on this side and the desk and working area on the opposite side. We also have quite a lot of storage space in the room from the space underneath the cage to the cupboards under the desk and this inbuilt cupboard which comes in super useful. And out of all the rooms in the house this is definitely the one I have changed most drastically from when I first moved in. When I first moved in everything in this room was the same colour. It's like they just got one pot of paint for the walls, the ceiling, the door, the radiator, the skirting boards, the cupboards, everything was a sort of creamish orangish colour and it wasn't very pleasant. It also had a sort of brownish carpet so I'm sure you can imagine it wasn't the nicest of spaces. So I have redone the entire room and I wanted it to have a sort of relaxing neutral vibe in here which also comes through with the items I choose to put in the guinea pig's cage as well as the other little touches around the room. Now it's not completely finished you might have noticed the big gouge in the ceiling and the smaller hole in the ceiling. Those are the last things I need to sort out as well as finally putting up the light fitting which has been sat in a cupboard for the last three years. If you follow the channel you might see me eventually doing those things in one of the monthly vlogs. So on that note let's get started with the tour. So we are going to start off on this side of the room and the guinea pig cage. Now I really really love their cage. I've gone through owning pet store cages, CNC cages for a long time and finally this DIY cage which is made from furniture board and plexiglass and it's surprisingly easy to build as well. I just love how open it is, how it has the IKEA storage underneath it and how easy it is for me to clean out and interact and visit the piggies on a day-to-day -day basis. If you are interested in the cage and want to learn more about the materials, the sizes, how everything is put together and as well as some things I would change about it then I do have a video on this which I will pop in the description below and up in the cards now. As you can see from the style of the cage I do have a very fleece based setup but I do also like to combine it with a few more natural elements so I always make sure I have their wooden arch and their wooden hammock in there as well as their litter tray which is the area where all their hay goes. It's big enough for all the biggies to fit in together and it's also a great way to manage their mess and make sure they have a more natural substrate as well as just a fleece. Okay so coming down here we are getting into some more of the storage and the majority of these boxes which slot into the IKEA units are actually for my sewing storage. On this right side of the cage three of four of the boxes are literally just full of materials that I use for sewing and in the fourth box I have some of the piggies fleece cozy items and some of their pads. More of their most popular stuff that I will probably use every week and need to change out more often just because it's easier to access when it's here in this box just underneath the cage. Moving on to the other side the top box at the back is again full of fabrics and the bottom box is just literally full of newspapers and magazines. And in this slidey box I just have their cleaning supplies which is this F10 solution diluted in a spray bottle and just kitchen roll to go with that and wipe down the surfaces. I also have <laughs> this little box of treats which is just stuff that I put in here and we'll get through it within maybe a month or so and I'll fill it up, usually end up filling it up with pea flakes. <laughs> but this is just a way of making the treats super easy access. Down in the bottom there we just have a couple of bowls which I will use for vegetables. 
And then here I just have a kitchen food storage container that is full of their pellets. So the piggies get a mix of different Burgess XL pellets as well as I think it's the science selective grain free pellet that they get as well. And I have just taken to mixing all of the pellets up in there for them. Also in there slotting down the side of the box is their dustpan and brush, which obviously I need quite a lot. I do use it several times a day. So by just having it there, it's super easy to reach and use. Pop that back, stick those back in there and take a look in this one. And this next box up is just full of all the guinea pig stuff that I will use, maybe once every couple of weeks, less often even than that. So the things in here include their Burgess Excel food there, we have their big bag of pea flakes, we also have these meadow hay cookies, they will get one of those every once in a while. And here they have their Burgess Jewel Care, which I got maybe a couple of months ago, they also have their science selective grain free there's not many of those left so I've just put them in there to save some space. In the very bottom there we have some shampoos and grooming supplies and this which some of you might recognize from uh, my various healthcare videos. This is a little mini massager and it actually comes in very useful if you have a poly guinea pig especially one that might have a bit of bloat or other digestive problem. And on this side I have have their little box which is full of emergency healthcare supplies and this basically has various critical care pouches in it. Along with those we just have a bunch of one mil syringes and we also have some medicines that we have left over from the vets that are still within their expiry. We also have some various probiotics in here so there's a fiberplex, we have the Pro C one and we also have bio lapis sachets. All of these can come in handy if you have a poorly piggy to deal with. And lastly for under the cage I just have their dust free hay. Sometimes they also have a massive box of Timothy hay which is from their hay box. They don't have this at the moment as I'm just waiting for a new one to arrive but when I do that obviously takes up quite a bit of space under the cage as well. And the windowsill is looking rather busy at the moment. <laughs> Most of it is these plants that I've been propagating from cuttings that I bought off Etsy. So if you are into your houseplants or you want to get more houseplants but you don't want to pay to have proper full plants then you can do what I did. Just buy some cuttings off Etsy. A lot of sellers have mystery boxes which are quite fun and you can propagate them in water or soil and watch them grow into proper little plants. And then over here <laughs> we have a collection of characters going on. The main one for me being this lovely little painted cobble of Sprite who if you don't know was one of my past piggies and it was such a nice thing for Carrie's little piggies who I don't think he's on YouTube anymore. Um, she got this cobble commissioned for me from Cobble Creatures and it is such a beautiful likeness of Sprite. The artist used photos and got her mask markings absolutely spot on. And yeah, that's just a really nice gift to keep on my windowsill here. Alongside Sprite, we also have some more little guinea pig gifts. We have these needle felted polar bears that I made. A little needle felted guinea pig who was a bit less successful than the polar bears. <laughs> And we also have this guy, which if you were ever into your TY Beanie Babies, you might recognise him as Paul the Walrus. <laughs> I'm not sure quite how he ended up in here. He managed to escape the box full of Beanie Babies that are in the loft though. And me and my boyfriend do have a joke that he looks very much like Phoebe. <laughs> Poor Phoebe. But yeah, we'll come into the room sometimes and be like, what's Phoebe doing on the windowsill? But it's just this guy. And for the curtains in here, I went for a double curtain rail from Ikea. I have this light mesh curtain, which works really well in the summer months to keep the direct sun off. And then I also have this patterned curtain, also from Ikea, which has this lovely leaf pattern on. And then this side of the room is dominated by my desk and usually there's all sorts of stuff going on on here depending on what I'm working on. I really like my desk set up and it is again from Ikea. It's just an individual tabletop that I have Alex units underneath for storage. And then up top here we have another plant. <laughs> if you're into your plants this is just a golden pothos which I really love to have trailing down the side of the wall here. I just think it looks super nice and 
I really like the jungle vibes of having lots of plants in the house. So this shelf, which is high up above the desk, was actually in the room to begin with. I didn't put it there and it's come in so useful for all of my sewing storage. So up here I have things I'm working on currently, things I've finished for my own guinea pigs, as well as a few other products which are finished and I need to put them in the shop. In this little corner is where the air purifier lives. I did talk about this and show you it in use in my last vlog. So it is a fairly recent addition for us and I do use it every day when I'm cleaning out the guinea pigs and for a couple of hours afterwards maybe and I'm sure it definitely improves the air quality in this room. On this little strip of wall in between the cupboard and the desk space we have this lovely guinea pig print. One of my friends actually got this for my birthday and it is quite a common one. I know I was advertised it on Facebook a lot <laughs> but I think the artist's name is Hannah something. I will put their Etsy shop below. It's always best to buy direct from there. So if you want to get one of these, she's got a few different designs and they are just super cute. Moving on over and we have the cupboard, which is like a lifesaver because there is so much stuff in here. I am going to briefly show you the bottom part. Yeah. <laughs> It looks like chaos and it's not, I promise. In here is a lot of sewing supplies. On the bottom there, we've got cotton fabrics. We've got fleece in the box here. And most of this top part, which is all bagged up, is wadding that is cut out and ready to make into beds. And moving on up to the top here, this is 100% guinea pig stuff. In the middle there, we have lots of materials which are ready to be made into guinea pig fleece liners or pads. On this side is various liners, cosy items and pads which are pre-made that I use on a regular basis for the biggies. And on this right side we have some of their cage furniture where there's basically nowhere else for it to go. If you do want to see everything that I have for the piggies then I did do a video on this. I'll pop it in the description below and the cards now. And I basically just run through all of the guinea pig stuff including all of the cage accessories, cosy beds, other furniture for the cage. There's quite a lot of stuff and you can get an idea of exactly where I store it in that video as well. But seriously, this cupboard is a lifesaver and if I didn't have this then I would probably have to have a big freestanding wardrobe or shelves or some other way to store the amount of stuff that I have for both the guinea pigs and all of the sewing supplies. And last but not least we have the wall which is opposite the window and behind the door. This is however where I got the radiator moved to as it was initially behind the guinea pig's cage. But I had a plumber come, do the piping under the floor and put in a nice Nice new radiator for me as well which is a bit more of a nice modern looking one compared to some of the others in the house. But the main thing on this wall is of course this lovely drawing of the piggies. This was actually another birthday present off one of my other friends. They actually commissioned an artist to do a drawing of the herd of piggies at that time which of course included baby Roxy, <laughs> very fluffy Lyra, Willow, bless her, and a baby Phoebe as well. So it's super nice to have this drawing of not only the girls as they were young and little babies, but also of course the two older girls, Lyra and Willow. And it's just a really nice thing for me to have and another way to remember Willow. And that is everything for the room tour guys. I know it's a small room, but there is a lot of stuff that goes on here. And I I really hope you found the tour interesting. If you did, let me know by leaving a comment down below. And I also hope that you maybe picked up some ideas for your own space. If you are going for a sort of relaxed vibe like me, then the things I recommend most are looking at the colour scheme, making it nice and neutral, maybe having some nice art on the walls and plants. <laughs> they really do make a space feel more chilled out and relaxed. So that's all for this video guys. I really hope you enjoyed. Please leave us a like and a comment and if you haven't subscribed to the channel then consider subscribing for more guinea pig content. Okay that's all from me for today guys, we'll see you in the next video. Bye bye!